Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Um, this is my first YouTube tutorial um, on the Sample Tree YouTube channel, so I hope you learn something from me. Um, I hope you get some sauce from it, and I hope you put it towards your beats and samples. But I'm just gonna get right into it. Uh, first thing I did is set the tempo to 126. For these type of loops, um, I like to use 120 to 130. Uh, you can get some really good bounce um, with that tempo, but this is what um, the loop fully sounds like, and I'll break it down after. Uh, first, what I did, I set the scale to D minor. And then I opened up a trumpet in BBC Orchestra. Um, so first thing I did is I placed a D minor chord and then copied it over to the fourth bar and then I made it a D sus chord and then I copied it all the way, all the way down. Um, and then I had to add some bounce to it. So what I did is I added some little notes in between it to give it a bounce. So this one, I ramped it down to the next chord, I added some higher notes in there, um, some higher notes up here. So that's pretty much it, really just add notes between your chords, um, that sounds good and should give it a pretty good bounce. Um, and then I added a bass note, so D, and then I made it descend near the end of the loop to give it more um, darkness to it, make it more dark feeling. For each chord I um, placed down, so this chord, this chord, and so on, I added, um, I selected it, and then I made it punch more by adding the, well, turning up the velocity, so it, it's a good punch to the ears, it just, you know, it just gives it the more aggressive feeling, and then this is what the trumpet sounds like alone. So yeah, um, the effects on that is just uh, EQ taking out a lot of the lows and some of the highs. Um, the high fre frequencies were punching a little bit to the ears, so I had to take them out. And then I added a fruity reverb. Next thing I did is I opened X-Pan and got a choir. Um, I, it's the same pattern, so I copied it into this one here. But I pitched it down an octave so um, it's in the lower frequencies um, this is what it sounds like so yeah um, that's it the effect on it is it's panned to the right a little bit, like 21%, with some reverb on it to make it more ambient. Next thing I added is a bass one shot from Chemex Kit right here. Definitely go and cop it, it's free, um, at least I think so. Um, has a bunch of stuff, drums, loops, and one shots. It's, it's really good, honestly. It's really all you need, there's so many stuff in there. Uh, this is what the bass sounds like. So yeah, I followed the root notes of the trumpet. So, um, yeah, um, then I had the A sharp and A down here, but it was way too muddy. And then I pitched it up an octave. Then I added a slide note and then turned down the velocity on it. I uh, gave it a nice, nice vibe to it, in my opinion. Uh, the effects on it is just an EQ, uh, taking out uh, some lows, boosting this frequency here so it's kind of more present in the mix, and then um, cutting out some highs. Um, 
next thing I added here is another um, preset from BBC Orchestra. It's a staccato string. Um, again, it's the same pattern from up here and here, but I pasted it into this one and then I pitched it up an octave. Um, this is what that sounds like. So yeah, um, the effects on that is just EQ, taking out some highs and some reverb. Uh, the last thing I added here is a effect and texture from X-Band. I'll show you the um, preset I got. So it's the spaceship um, preset in the ambience plus effects um, part in the plugin. Uh, this is what it sounds like. So yeah, uh, the preset got, um, it sounds like it's like automated in volume uh, and it gave it a nice feel in my opinion. But the effects on that one is just an EQ, cutting a lot of the highs and lows out. And then I added a Tremolator by Sound Toys, really good plugin. It gives it so much like groove and you can do a lot of stuff with it. There's some nice presets on here, uh, but I switched it to quarter note and and then I um, and then I turn the mix level down to around 68%, so you can hear it still. It gives it that rhythm. Um, so I'm gonna play the final loop again, and yeah. So yeah, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed the video, my first YouTube tutorial with the Sample Tree YouTube channel. Um, I'll be on here more often, breaking down some loops and beats and maybe some other stuff. I'll probably um, show you how I mix my drums and stuff and stuff like that. Just give ideas in the comments and I'll look at them and I'll um, consider doing those um, requests. But I hope you enjoyed watching my breakdown on this Wheezy Loop. And uh, I hope you guys have a good one. And peace out.